everyone. Today I'm reading Last Kids on Earth and the Midnight Blade here. So you can see the color of it. Uh, um, part something and today I'll be reading hold on, hold on. There we go. Oh man, I lost it again. There. Today I'm going to be reading starting from chapter 34, actually page 34, from right here. I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, smash the notification bell, so you won't miss other videos like this, and enjoy. I'll tell you what's weird, you weirdo calling me weird. You're the weird one doing the weird worsh worshipping. <clears throat> now I hear me demand you guys open a portal and leave out of this dimension post haste whatever post haste means you heard jack i want to see a portal door opening right here right now nah yeah pass yet stale snaps again and the zombies itch even closer June coughs into her hand, then says very loudly, Well, Jack, it appears your plan has failed. Okay, jeez, June, aggressive, I murmur. June, again, louder. I said, Jack, it appears your plan has failed. Look, June, I whisper, I know this is a big life and death moment, but you gotta, but you don't gotta be mean about it. It's not like, <clears throat> I said, Well, Jack, it appears your plan has failed. And that's when I hear a sound like cannon fire erupting. The building shakes. The zombies stagger. Evie grabs Gats to steady herself. I look up just in time to see the ceiling practically evaporate as something like a meteor comes crashing through. Chapter 5 Begun Sh Skylka my axe finger is extra itchy. Surprise roofer arrival. June, Quint happily explains. You had backup waiting. June grins. Sure did. did. I frown. Was your backup plan code the word? Jack, it appears your plan has failed. June shrugs. It worked, didn't it? That is so messed up. But also I'm good with it because it means I was not bluffing. You hear that, Evie? I wasn't bluffing. Evie just glares and leaps back. A thin layer of meteor-like landing weak in the ground. Gaz descends from his disgusting throne. Bits of hardened cheese and melted chocolate stick to his fur. He snarls, sees them, and his tail whip cracks in the air. Instantly, blue-robed zombies close in. Dudes, I say, I'm going for the tail. You keep the zombies busy. Happily, Shkylka says. Begun just grunts and begins hurling zombies right and left. June and Quint are back to back battling the cabal of the cosmic. Crack! Gat's tail smacks me and I'm hurled across the room. I land against a half-inflated pile of bowling lane bumpers. Gat's Dreads. Did I skip a page? No, I did not. Gat's strides tore me, widening through his battling zombie horde. He darts forward and slashes his fat claw in my direction. Yikes! I dodge the attack by ungracefully flopping to the floor. His gnarled nail slice open the big blue bumpers. There's a loud hiss and an angry snarl as Gats claws his way through shredded rubber. You've seen what I can do. You know my power. And I know something else. I know this scares you. I jab the slicer and Gats inches back. His whiskers twitch. His nose wrinkles. And a smile crosses his hideous face. You know, Jack, during the horribly botched transference that brought me to your dimension i adopted some of the rat's qualities including smell and i smell that fear on you now boy just then his beady eyes start dart to the side and his tail snaps his 
power sees a nearby zombie and it's suddenly zipping across the room. But not toward me, toward Quint. The zombie's feet skim the ground and its outstretched arms thrash. Its broken jaw snaps menacingly. Murder. Quint, I call out, but it's too late for any warning cries. The zombie's nearly upon my best buddy. A horrifying bolt of cold fear explodes inside my brain. The image of Quint being bitten, being zombified. I don't think. I simply act. I swing the Louisville slicer toward the zombie, leaving a dark streak of energy in the air. And then... Zombie grab. I feel the slicer catch, like the blade and the zombie are connected by some strange magnetism. And all around, it's like someone hit the pause button on this battle. Everyone's looking at me. My arms are unsteady and there's a zombie frozen braced to pounce. I feel Yat's power tugging at the zombie, trying to push it toward Quint. No, you don't, I cry out, forcing the slicer downward. The hovering zombie is thrust down too. Its knees buckle and it crumbles to the floor in a drooling, groaning heap. Jack, how did you... From the corner of my eye, I spot Shkylka sneaking up behind Gats. I need to keep him busy for one more moment. Gats, I see rat appear, eyes appear at me. Then the slicer, impressive, he laughs, but it will not be enough to defeat me. I shrug. That's cool. I don't have to defeat you. I just have to distract you. Gats grunts. Uh, and Shkylka swings. Happy to finally use the axe face. Shkylka's razor sharp blade slices through Gats' tail. And the creature shrieks. His eyes go wide and his face con controls into a, oh my, now my tail is just a nub face. Instantly, every zombie stops. Their arms fall to the side, stiff, like they're awaiting orders. They moan quietly, drool falls. Suddenly, the water sloshes at our feet. It's old, grimy, and smells like someone forgot to flush. I realize Shkylka's Sh axe must have split the floor, too. I realize Shkylka's... Oh. Gats wobbles back and forth. Without his tail, he's off balance. He lurches to the side, then crashes heavily to the floor. It cracks open even further. I see a crisscrossing maze of pipes beneath the floor, and one massive sewer pipe as wide as a train. The wood begins to crumble completely, like jizzbuzzle puzzle pieces falling away. Yes, paws slap, his gnarled nails scrape the floor, but that only makes it worse. Water rushes up around him. He lashes out, grabbing Evie. Her eyes lock onto mine. She's stuck, and she knows it. She's scared. But more than that, I can tell she looks mad. She forces a never-admit-defeat smile. And then they are pulled under. My tail! My tail! I hate other humans. And like that, Evie and Gats are swept up into the rushing sewer water. Gone. Oh, I say, did we just beat the bad guy dudes already? We beat these bad dudes, yeah, June says. The threat is over, at least for a while. I grin. Rad, mission, operation, complete. Quentin approaches the severe tail. Most important, we've removed Gat's ability con to control zombies. I glance around. Quint's right. The zombies don't move. They just stare at the tail. Eyes dull. All of a sudden, Bartle comes sweeping into the room, stepping over the rubble. I should not be expected. The tail is quite powerful. Also, this is making a dramatic entrance. Chapter 6 Well, guys, pretty successful mission operation, huh? Indeed, first bumps, friends. Feel the awesome. Bartle doesn't seem to be enjoying this. He's not fist bumping. He's not feeling the awesome. Bartle, I ask, why aren't you feeling the awesome? Yeah, Jun says, we crushed that. Exactly, I say as I give Bartle a big old slap on the back, which I discover is a bad idea, just awful, causing a flash. Whoa, easy, dude. 
A palm to the back is the sign you wish to battle to the death. Is that what you wish to desire? Nope, I say totally not what I wish to desire. And this time answering a slap on the back just means like, hey, cool, good times, buddy, friendly back slaps. Bartle's confused. You slap for friendliness? I mean, we don't say slap for friendliness because that sounds deranged. It's just, uh, um, I'm trying to figure out how to explain when I realize, oh boy, my ha hand stings. It stings way worse than it should after a regular old friendly back slap. It feels like I jammed my hand into a flaming bonfire or grabbed a handful of red hot coals. Or I'm shaking my hands back and forth. Thankfully, Rover bonds over and showers my palm with cold slobber. The pain subsides me. Thanks, pal. Needed that. Bartle grabs my fist. Well, Rover's saliva splashes to the ground as Bartle turns my hand over, exclaiming it. He blinks quickly. I suspect that using your blade to manipulate the undead causes to become hot, he says. So hot that wielding it becomes near impossible. Jim stops walking. She cocks her head, looks me up and down. Then she brings up the 90-pound dozer in the room. Yeah, she says slowly. We should probably talk about the craziness that went back there. Quint's eyes are wide. Jackie says, you control the zombie. And I'm going to stop here for now. I hope you enjoyed the video, which you did. Uh, leave a like if you did. Smash the subscribe button and smash the notification bell if you want to see more great videos like this. And goodbye.